So we're going to learn about story maps. And I want everyone to be able to describe what a story map is and what it does for us as writers. So first, before we get into the story map, we need to learn the different parts that need to be on our story map. So I have created this nice chart, and we're going to learn about story elements. Hmm, what do we think? Does anyone like to guess? What, what might a story element be? What is a story element? Um, Ila, do you have a guess as to what a story element is? No, I just know it's like a story map. Oh, okay. Well, if no one has a guess, I'll go ahead and say, a story element is a piece or part of a story. Who said they knew that? Me. Okay, you guys knew that? Oh, good, I'm glad. So the story elements are all of the different things that we need to have in a story that make it complete. So there are all the different parts of a story. So the first part, so now this is where you can get out your baggie. So I have up here that every piece is important to complete the puzzle because we can think of narratives, which are stories. So when we're doing, we're talking about narrative writing, we're talking about Stories, exactly, and we're talking about stories. And we can think of a story as a puzzle. It has all of these different pieces that need to be there in order to be complete. What happens when or we have a puzzle and then we have a missing piece? It doesn't really make sense or we can't see the entire picture. So we need every single piece. And the first part is the who in our story. So everyone get up, go ahead and take all of the cards out of your bag. Take the, all of the cards out. So everyone's holding their cards in their hand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who can find me the word that represents who is in our story? The people, or sometimes it's animals in our story. What do we call that word? Uh, the char character. Character, character. exactly. So everyone hold up the word, the word character. Did everyone find it? I wrote it in purple in case you're having trouble finding it, because it's the who. I will. So everyone's holding up. Camille, do you need help finding character? Okay. I need and then Hugo, can you come up and hand me your character card? And then show everyone what the word character looks like for those of our friends who are having the trouble finding that word. Okay. Character. I have that. Perfect. And everyone, what does that tell us? What is a character? Everyone had to say it out loud. A person. The person in our story. The people in our story. Thank you so much, Hugo. <coughs> yeah. Character. It's one of those interesting ones with a kind of second. Character. Okay. Okay, you can go back and sit down. Thank you so much, Hugo, for showing everyone. And the next thing is where. So for the picture for where, I have a little map showing us where and when. So we have a clock. It's the time that our story takes place in. So that could be daytime, it could be nighttime, or maybe even the season that our story is happening in. Maybe it's happening in the summer or in the fall. So everyone look for the word that tells us where and when. And what, what do we call that word? We call that the? I see Noah has it and Crosby has it. What do we call that word? Zeddy. Everyone say it. Zeddy. Zeddy. Okay. And then Crosby, if you can come up and show everyone what that word looks like so they can find it. So everyone hold up your card saying Zeddy. Steady. 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 Perfect. Steady. Exactly. Yours doesn't say <laughs> It's And it is the green word on our chart. Is this it? Yep. Mm -hmm. That is the word. Oh my God. You found it, Phineas. You found it. Yeah. 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 I have it. I have it. I have it. Okay. And the 
next thing, thank you so much, Kathy. The next one, it is the what and how in our story, or the actions in our story. And it is written in the color red. And Phineas has it out. Thank you so much for showing me. Abigail has it. Riley has it. Wonderful. Okay, so I need another volunteer to come up and give, show everyone that card. Austin, come on up and show everyone. It says, oh, come on up to the front. And turn around and show everyone. Okay. <laughs> show everyone your card. It says key events. Those are the actions in our story. And friends, thank you so much for showing everyone your card. Austin, go ahead and sit down because you're going to learn, need to be ready to do the next part. So the key events in our story. Often in our story, oh, yes, Fiona? You don't have that card? Oh. I have an extra one. Me doing something, and does it tell you, give you an 
idea of where I could be? Outside. 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 Exactly. And what do you see me doing in my bike? Bike. Right. So my picture is showing the, the setting, right? Because you can see I'm outside. I'm doing something. I have an action. And I have me. And you can tell. How do, I, how do you think I'm feeling? Can you tell? Yeah, I'm, I have, I'm drawn with a happy face, so you can see my emotion. So I call that a detailed picture. Detailed picture. And we need those key details on there so the readers of our story can tell what's happening. And then what else do, what is the other thing that our story should have? What do we call these, friends? Speech bubbles. Say it out loud, everyone. Speech bubbles. Speech bubbles. Thinking bubbles. Or thinking bubbles, exactly. And then there's a special word for that that I taught you guys last time. Do you remember? Yeah. It is the word? Dialogue. dialogue. Nice job, Fiona. It is the word dialogue. So everyone go, dialogue. is when characters are talking. talking. And then the last thing that we need to have on our um, pictures is what do we call it when we put who it is about the character? Me. Me. Mm -hmm. This is called a, you guys remember? I label. Asked, it's called a label. label. So we need to have labels on our picture.